I want to talk about Kajabi. I want to talk about something that is one of my favorite little things about Kajabi that makes it so, so stupid easy. Uh, it's in the pages. It's in the, if you're building a landing page, okay? So here's a landing page I just built for the sake of this preview, this video. And I built it because I want to send people to my website. I want to collect email. And as you know, that when you're hat, when you have a landing page, you want to get your, um, a landing page's purpose is I want to give you something so that you give me your email. And it's an honest exchange. It isn't manipulation at all. This is how business online works. And it's because email marketing is so, so powerful. And we'll get into that in another video, but I want to show you real quick how to create a form. A form is this here. Okay. So the let's keep in touch. So I wanted to create a form for this so that when people fill this out, I collect their information, but I want to know where it goes. I don't, I don't want it to just be lost in a huge list of archivable data, right? I want to actually keep track of who, who filled out this form. So what I did is here's the page I did it in Kajabi. If you go to websites and then page builder, you can actually, um, take a look at, or you can create a landing page. I created a real brief landing page. We can talk about how to do that another time. But what I want to do is I want to customize this. So I'm going to hit customize. And we're going to click on the, this box here. Okay. So in this landing page, all that it, we have selected when we created this landing page is an opt-in form. And that's this little form right here. So if I select it, it's going to change the view over here and pull up what that opt-in form is. And I can select what form I want to use. I have a bunch of different forms that I've created through different uh, websites I've built. So this one is called my first form. So I select that. So if anybody puts their information in there, let's just do it real quick. If I put, if I go back at here and I put Melvin Schmedlack at melvin at gmail.com. Okay. Actually, that's probably as a real person. So we don't want to add him. Schmed. Actually, we'll just add my email. We'll just add a, a junk email. Okay. My name at gmail.com. And we hit submit. Okay. It changes the view, but what happens? So where, where did that person go? Right? So if you go into back into Kajabi, you go to people, this is the power of the people area. You can actually find that person very easily by typing in a filter. So we're going to use a filter and we're going to drop this down. Does he have any of these offers? We're going to do forms because that was a form we filled out. Has anybody submitted this form in particular? And we're going to choose my first form, hit apply and boom, there's Melvin Schmedlack. So we have, we see him as a tagged person in this form. Isn't that cool? That's very cool. Now, what if you wanted to edit your form or build your form or change the, you know, instead of having just, um, let's go back to it. Instead of having just a name and email, what if you wanted more than that? What if you wanted, I don't know, a phone number or something like that? You can go back to marketing, go to forms and you choose your form. We're going to choose my first form. We could create a new one right here. You can name it whatever you want. And then we can add new fields. So what if we wanted them to add um, a phone number or country? Let's say country. Country is a cool one. And just say, so that way we know where our students are coming from. That's kind of a helpful thing to do. Um, and then if we wanted to add an automation, like automatically send them a certain email or add them to another list or, or send them into another, um, maybe another email um, uh, pipeline or, some, or email campaign, something like that. You could do that here. You can say, if they've filled out this form, I want to grant them an offer, revoke an offer, submit something, register for an event, add a tag, send an email, send a coupon. It's amazing. It's really, really cool. So you have all these automations down here you can add to this form so that when that person does that, they get an email. The other thing is, is you can say, I want to send this a notification and let Zion know. So I might put Zion at, at some stupid, simple, uh, freedom.com and just say, email me anytime somebody is added to this form. You would be probably getting emails all day, but it might be important to you. Or maybe a, a directory like a hello account or something like that. 
Um, or you could say, I want to send them a custom thank you page instead of just the, the confirmation page. Remember that confirmation page that we got right here? Thank you, we have received your submissions. What if I was like, I want, to, I want something a little bit better than that. We can create our own page. We can create a um, registration page, take them to a different landing page, or um, it says pass submission data to the thank you page. You could do that, um, but you can actually create another personalized thank you page in your uh, landing page area. And I've done that. I have a generic thank you page that I made. So this way, if somebody fills out the form, it'll send them a generic thank you page. And my generic thank you page just says, hey, thank you for this, uh, for submitting this form. You're going to get an email with the information that you were looking for or something like that. I can't remember. It's worded a little bit better than that. <laughs> but this is what forms are all about. I love forms. They're really, really cool. And it really helps when you're building a, um, a landing page to put forms in there so that you're keeping track of your contacts. And whenever people fill out the forms, you're at, it's actually adding a tag of what form they filled out to it so that they so that they're not getting lost anywhere if that makes sense <laughs>